you recall geometrical applications of calculus is about a whole bunch of particular big ideas, big ticket ideas. We've looked at one so far, namely, are things increasing or are they decreasing, right? And we've, we've looked at functions, we've looked at their derivatives, okay? Now, stationary means you are neither increasing nor decreasing, okay? You have stopped, not going up, not going down, you're just level for a second, okay? And importantly, it's a stationary point, right? I'm just interested, calculus allows me to think about gradient at a single point, right? Rise over run, it's not rising or running everywhere, but I can understand it through the differentiation process that we already know, okay? Our stationary points are really important. Um, they're so important that many questions really center around these, and that should make sense, right? If you're thinking about something changing from increasing to decreasing, right? Or decreasing to increasing, that point where it stops, that's a critically important point, right? Like you can get lots of information about that. Like you remember I said there are some um, particular applications of these ideas, that are these geometrical ideas, and one of them was optimization. Do you remember what optimization means? It means maybe I want to find the biggest value of something, right? I want to maximize profits, or maybe I want to minimize something. I want to reduce the amount of income tax, whatever it is, okay? Finding the stationary point is often the key to finding, you know, where is that important place where I'll be able to get the most out of my money or get the least number of casual, or whatever it is, okay? So under the heading of stationary points, the important question that we get to ask is, um, and this is all in, um, this is in just informal language, okay? Where does, if you're thinking about a function, right, it's where does it stop, as in, when does it become stationary, and how? Like, in what way does it stop? Because things can stop in different ways. For instance, these two that I've just drawn on the board, they're two different ways of stopping. One of them is right at the top of the function. And another way is at the bottom. Okay. Now, where does it stop and how? We translate this into mathematical fancy language and we would say, like, an interpretation of this translation is, find or locate all stationary points Locate stationary points, tell me where they are, where, right? And this question of, well, tell me, tell me what kind of a stationary point it is. Tell me, can you describe the behavior of the stationary point? Because there are different kinds, which I'm going to show you in a moment. After you locate them, determine their nature. That is the phrase you will see happening again and again, which really means, well, it's stationary, but what kind of stationary? Let's draw some pictures. We're going to draw four. Really simply. I've actually already drawn two of them already over there. Uh, we'll, do, we'll do this one first. And you can just put these all in a row along underneath your, your working here. Here's our first two. Okay. Now, as I said, under the idea of optimization here, right? In each case, I've got not only a stationary point, but it turns around. Okay? Uh, but it turns around in a different way. This one, the gradient is decreasing. In fact, I'm gonna put on there, the sign of the gradient, right, is I'm gonna write, I'm gonna indicate green as my gradient. Right? Green for gradient, I hope you can remember that. Uh, negative, 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 right? It's dropping, it's decreasing in that part of the domain. Right there at the stationary point, what's the derivative? Zero. It's zero, right? And then after zero, it's positive, 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 positive. Okay. So if my gradient changes in this way, from decreasing, hits zero, and then goes off and it's increasing, okay? We call this, unoriginally, a minimum turning point. A minimum turning point. Yes? Is that also called local minimum? We'll get to local stuff in a minute, okay? Uh, I just want to get my head around which way is it turning, okay? In exactly the same way, Green for gradient, okay? This is doing the opposite, right? My gradient going from left to right, it's positive, positive, positive. And then as it hits the stationary point, my gradient's zero at that single point, right? That would mean if I drew a tangent at that spot, it'd be horizontal, okay? And then negative, 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 okay? So if I transition from negative to positive, I'm getting a minimum. On the other hand, if I transition the other direction, positive to minimum, you can see I'm right at the top of the graph. So we call this a maximum, maximum turning point. point. 
Okay, now, <coughs> don't draw this just yet. Just have a look at what I'm about to show you for this next moment. Have a look at this uh, minimum turning point, <coughs> right? The way it's behaving is that for a part of the um, domain, okay, it is negative, 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 but it's less and less negative until it stops, okay? So this is my left-hand side here, okay? So again, going with my gradient, negative, 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 and then zero, okay? Now, if I turn around, my derivative changes sign and becomes positive, right? But I don't have to turn around, do I, right? Like I've been decreasing and decreasing, and then I've stopped, but if I want to, I could just keep on going down, right? Just like a lift does, okay? You're, um, you're at the 10th floor, and then you're going down, and then you slow down and stop at, you know, second floor or something like that. But the lift is still going down, right? So it doesn't become an increasing function all of a sudden. It can keep on going in the same direction, like this. Okay? So if you want to put some more scale on this, this becomes a bit hard, right? But in close to the stationary point, I have a little, little, little negative but then it gets more and more negative as we go further away, okay? So you can see here, this is still a stationary point, right? It still stops momentarily. I still get a gradient of zero. But because my derivative does not change sign, this is not a turning point because it never turns, right? Now you can see, this is one case. I could do it in reverse, couldn't I? Instead of going down, stopping, going down, I can go up and then stop and then go up. In fact, this looks just like a very famous function you've been dealing with for a long time. What does that thing look like? It looks like x cubed, doesn't it? Okay. So right there, I've still got the stationary point, right? But on either side, I have a positive gradient. Okay. <coughs> now, um, these two here are kind of two different versions of the same class of object. Okay. They're called, actually they have a couple of names, but the name that I prefer and the one you'll probably see most often is a horizontal point of inflection. Now, this is a bit of an uh, unfortunate name in some ways just for the sequence of learning things because you don't, you haven't, I haven't talked about what inflection means just yet. Um, suffice to say, it has to do with the difference between the left hand side here and the right hand side, they're both decreasing, but they're decreasing in different ways, okay? When we go a little bit further, and we talk about not the first derivative, which I have in green, but the second derivative, we'll drill down further into this language, okay? But just think of an x cubed graph. Just think of this, it's coming up, it's slowing down, and then it speeds up again and keeps on going in the same direction, okay? That's just the shape you need to have in your mind, and we'll deal with the language a little bit later on. Yes? Um, if there's a horizontal one, is there also a vertical? Absolutely there is. Uh, and also there are just regular old points of inflection that are neither horizontal or vertical. And we will talk about those all in due time. Okay? The reason why I'm dealing with them now, even though it seems like, why are we talking about it if we have to wait until this discussion later, is because these guys still fall in this category. You see? They're stationary. Right at that point there, they stop. And that's what I'm interested in right now.